Jordan went Paxman. They've got every Fitzroy player inside. Somebody had to be holding the ball. About three Collingwood players had tackles or arms up. And hold of the jumper on three opponents as the ball comes in short from Brown to Manson. And Manson now will kick from right on the 50. I doubt he can get a goal from here. He got two valuable goals in that third term. He goes for distance. That's a very good kick. They can test about two metres out off hands. Minor score. So the margin is three points. Just over two minutes left. Caven has got Dundas if he can find him. Manson with the fly. Well played, Stevens. Left foot though by Collingwood by Fraser. Seacab, oh, here's the guy. Perk goes. Collingwood in front. Oh. And what about the irony of that? Gary Perk. Well, Perk's had a dirty afternoon. Started at full back. He's moved up onto the half forward, half back line. Now at the full forward line. And he's covered himself, or has he covered himself in glory? That's the goal that's put them in front, Collingwood. A series of mistakes. The ball, fortunately, falling into Perth's hands. Well, it's a game of centimetres so often. An unlucky touch by a Fitzroy defender deflected it from a teammate. And the Collingwood man waiting behind an ex-teammate. Fitzroy now, desperately, with a minute 40 remaining, must get the next goal. They trail by three points, Collingwood 13-11, Fitzroy 12-14, a magnificent come-from-behind situation here for Collingwood, and it will be a victory if they can last this next 125 now. Down goes Lyon, was he pushed in the back, not according to the umpire, Wonkhorst suggesting he was holding the ball, and we'll have a bounce. Done a terrific job in the last quarter, Wonkhorst. Marvellous game of football this one. Here's the bounce then. Paxman with the run, gets it down, taken by Francis, high kick towards the outer side wing, and from there it will run out with the assistance of McEwen. So a throw in on the wing, inside the last minute of the game. Paxman and Monkhurst will ruck, and we're down to 40 seconds now. Monkhurst back Good towards play. the boundary intelligently, but Broderick in the road. Left foot guard with a chance. Paid. Too far out to score, you'd think. He's kicked three. There's 30 seconds remaining. Must go quickly now. Last chance for Fitzroy. What a fitting finish this is. Roos! No, unable. Still an opportunity. Abbott can't crash his way through. Roos's left foot kick is a goal! No. Unbelievable finish! Oh. Well, you talk about irony. Roos to match Pert. What a contest, 13, 14, 13, 11, and gone. If ever a captain has kicked a goal, it was then. Well, he really did lift himself. He's come down from centre half back. He's flown over the top of the pack. He just couldn't control it. Abbott tried to take them on, bust the pack, but he couldn't do it. But then Ruse, in the fortunate position of kicking that left foot snap, it's put Fitzroy back in front. Can they hang on? There's 11 seconds. It's been one of the great games, no question about that. Ten seconds remaining. Can Collingwood pull something out here? Gale misses. It's ticking, it's ticking. Fitzroy have won it. The Lions will win it. Here we go. Well, if ever the character of a club could be questioned and answered, it was today. Because Collingwood gave it to Fitzroy in the last quarter. And if Paul Ruse remembers one game from this season, I'm sure it's going to be this one. What, what a, a week he's had. Captain a, of Victoria, and to do that in the dying seconds. What a terrific game of football. Marvellous game. Played so hard, it deserved a big finish. It got it. And of course, Pert and Ruse. So much was said about them during the course of the week. Close personal friends. It came down to a virtual shootout this afternoon, and that man, number one, brandishes his fist to the crowd because he had the last say in this game. Fitzroy win a classic at Princess Park by three points as the captain runs off the ground. 13-14 Fitzroy, Collingwood 13-11.